And when Michael decided, regardless of what people think or want to think, one, we don't care. Um, we didn't insist or force or insinuate that Michael should ever come here. This was a choice that he made on his own. Now his sister might have, you know, somewhat bribed him a little. I, I don't know. I've learned these uh, over the years. I've heard these stories. I'm like, I didn't know that was going on. Um, but really, it, it made it extra special because this is family. I mean, my husband was an all-SEC. He was an all-American. You know, we have body parts spread all over this campus. Um, yeah, you know, Sandra Bullock plays you in a movie, and she wins an Oscar, and, uh, her, you know, she you, you, it just it changes your life. It, it, it truly does. It's a very God-driven thing. Um, this is not by accident. The reality of it is that every single person, you and the people watching this, we all have a story. Everyone has a story. Our story just happens to be the one that got told. And it just happened to resonate with people. And it, it just, it's amazing. We're, you know, nine, ten, nine years removed from this movie. And it, it still it hasn't died down. I mean, it's constantly on TV. People are, are watching it still. It's, it's really crazy because I think it's so relatable to people because they look at it and they really are like, I want to do that or how can I do that or I want to do something like that. So it's crazy that this movie hits on so many different tentacles for so many different people. Well, I think, it, I think the true message from the blind side is that we value people so incorrectly and that um, for us it's that families don't have to match we really need to learn to love people that don't look like us but more important than anything is that we are so guilty as a society of valuing people uh, incorrectly and there's so many people that have just given the least little bit of chance and opportunity their life would change and there's just that fine line there of the people that have that chance and opportunity and the people that don't and I'm sure there's a ton of people that um, right outside this door, I mean, you wouldn't have to go very far from where we're sitting right here to run into another person that if given an opportunity, they could be a success. It might not be um, an athlete, but they may be the best doctor or the best uh, sales rep or best school teacher, and they just, they just need a chance. And so I think that that's what people, they, they really look at the blind side and they go, you know, I'm going to go out and do something to make a difference, or I want to do something to change someone's life. And we'll, we can suffer this family through any hits or any snarly comments or, you know, we, we don't, we've heard it all. We don't really care. Um, there are, I do have a short hit list and at some point when the dust settles down, I'm going to, my husband's from New Orleans, Louisiana, you know, he can kind of put people's bodies where you never find them again. I have that short list of people that, that I might, um, you know, sick my two guys on, but for the most part, um, it's just been a crazy, amazing journey. And the good that's come out of it, it it's just, it's, it's, we never in a million years would have imagined it. We, if you'd asked me, I'd have gone, you know, you're crazy. This, no one will ever look at this little story and, and relate anything to their lives with it. And it's been anything but that.